What's going on friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are relaxing. It is Friday and it's finally raining all week. It's been very, for yeah, for once. It's been, um, it's been very gloomy and yucky all week. So it's finally raining and it started with a bang. So we have all the lights off. We're just chilling, watching our, um, out of our window, out of our back door over here. So. That's all that's on the agenda for today. No, ma'am. My dog is drinking out of my lemonade. What the heck?
Okay, I'm getting ready to plan the next few activities for May. And this is the template that I use to help me just kind of brain dump. You can find this, um, I will link it below, but it's on my website in the homeschooling templates and I forget what the actual document is called, but like I said, I'll link it down below so you can find it. But I like this one because it's simple to the point and then like I said, I can just put everything out there and go from there. Okay, so it's the next day and I finished up getting our things ready for next week. So I wanted to share with you what that's gonna look like. We are gonna be doing like collecting data and bar graphs and then we're also going to be working on um, verb tints. So I just made some different sheets and I'll show you those in just a second. But if you are working with your kids at home or if you're creating your own units, and you aren't using Canva, you're absolutely missing out because they have tons of templates and um, pre-made worksheets and all kinds of stuff, and it's free. Or you can use one of those templates to build your own stuff, and I'll give you an example of that in just a second. Um, so that's the only thing that I didn't really film last night was just me working on those worksheets, and I'll show you the finished product of those as well as what our kind of game plan is for those at least over the next couple weeks and then we'll revisit and see 
what else we need to plug in or review or work on some more. So that's my game plan at least. Okay, so here's a good example, and you guys know my printer is just a piece of you-know-what. Um, but here was the template that came off of Canva, and then I just tweaked a little bit so that we can create our own bar graph from that. And then we're going to be doing, well, if I can get the paper, we're going to be doing verb tense, like I said before. So I just built a little sort for us to do, past, present, and future verbs as well as some sentences to go along with that. And then we're just gonna identify the um, verb, practice our reading and all that jazz. And like I said, both of those came from um, just creating them on Canva. And then the last thing will be our folk tales and fables. So I just did a little chart for us and that's what you guys saw me writing on my game plan. So. That's the plan for the upcoming weeks, and I'll keep you posted on what else we decide to plug in along the way. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in the next one.